This temple looming over the landscape is one of the most significant in Vijayawada and in fact the country. Steeped in legend, thousands throng to the Indra Kiladri or Kanakadurga temple each week. On the way to the temple, on its foothills, you can see the Akana Madana temple complex, a protected site. The presence of a network of caves here, the oldest being from the 2nd century BCE, indicates just how ancient this land is. Locals believe that this area of present-day Vijayawada was once a rocky and barren land. A mighty hill obstructed the path of the Krishna River that today is the lifeline of this region. Lord Shiva is said to have intervened and directed the hills to make way for the river through tunnels or bejal, giving Vijayawada its original name, Bezawada. According to another legend, one of the Pandavas, Arjuna, prayed to Lord Shiva on top of the Indra Kiladri hill to secure the divine weapon of Pashupat Astra, which led to his victory. The entire city derived its name Vijayawada from this victory. Yet another legend directly links goddess Durga, the main deity here, to the site. According to this legend, it was here that the goddess Kanaka Durga killed the demon, King Mahishasura, at the behest of sage Indrakila. The sage pleaded with her to stay back and reside here, making this her permanent abode. It is from the myths of myth and legend that the sacred space has emerged, and the faithful have come here for centuries. The temple attracts visitors from all over, especially during the Navratri celebrations when devotees come to seek blessings and wash away their sins with a holy dip in the Krishna river. Flush with legends, this temple is a beacon of faith with the goddess Kanakadurga keeping a watchful eye on the city of Vijayawada.